Hello everyone, welcome back into this tutorial on tokenization. We'll see one of the interesting facts or very critical aspect about the tokenization and that is nothing but performance improvement. When, when we go in the production environment, the most of the time consumed and the most of the resources consumed is nothing but tokenization and match and merge. Tuning this tokenization and ma match and merge become a regular practice in real-time application. So this today's tutorial is going to highlight all those aspects how can we achieve a better performance for tokenization process. In order to demonstrate the tokenization process and discuss few of the aspects about the performance improvement, we are going to consider one table. The name of table is CBO party. We have configured one rule, a uh, match and merge rule for demo. The, the most important thing about the tokenization is nothing but you need, you might have the fuzzy match column. If we do not have the fuzzy match column, then we don't need a tokenization. If you have just the exact match, we don't need the tokenization. But whenever you have the fuzzy match column which are getting used in the match rules, you need to run the tokenization process in order to generate the tokens. So we have created one fuzzy match column that is organization name, which, which points to the party name in the CBO party table. We have created one match rule which is very simple using the same, exact, uh, same fuzzy match column. And we have configured some other properties such as Maximum matches for manual consolidation is 1000, number of rows per match job cycle of 10, etc. and the other regular properties. Once you configure these properties, for tokenization, some other properties need to be configured. I would say need to be tuned because the other properties are by default get configured whenever you create this match rules and uh, whenever you configure the match column. So what are these properties and how can we tune those? So those are the things we are going to see in today's session. So let's go ahead and discuss a few of the concepts about this tokenization. So let's start. The very important table in the tokenization, if you see in today's, token, uh, today's tutorial, we are going to see how to improve tokenization process performance. The very important aspect about the tokenization process is how the tokens are getting created, right? So either you might be creating or just updating the existing token or we might be dropping the existing tokens and recreating everything. So those are the two things. First is updating a strip table or the tokenization table for the new tokens or drop everything and create tokens for every each and every record so those are the two things comes so when whenever we create all tokens or whenever we update the existing token which is the better performance wise whether updating is a better or recreating is a better so that thing is decided based on the factors and that factors nothing but the c task that is it is very common term, it is database term and we'll see what is this CTAS. CTAS or CTAS stands for create table as. This is database SQL term. So whenever you create a table using select query, we use this clause. Create table as, which is a database syntax used to create a new table using select statement on another table. When CTAS, that is CTAS, is enable expensive insert, update, or delete operations will be suspended and instead will be executing create table as. The syntax is mentioned here create table, new table, and then as, and then you can define the select query. Select start from old table or another table. So this will create a table for us. For performance efficiency, 
when needing to update a significant percentage of record in table so particular for the strip table if you have the more number of records for which we need to create us tokens and the existing strip table need to be updated so we have to run the update statement which is very cost a uh, costly uh, operation with respect to performance a performance improvement may be observed when we when we create uh, or when we when we using theta statement to actually recreate the table while selecting all data for the table in single statement so sometimes select or create table as is better compared to update if you are up updating high volume of record the create table as is always better but if you are updating low number of record the create table as become a more uh, performance costly or it becomes co operation costly so so how to decide when to use create as or when to use update so th those configuration we have to make for the performance tuning i hope you got the concept of theta theta is the thing with the create table as which is which create the new table based on the another select query and this is by using this statement we can either replace insert update or delete operations particularly in case of tokenization where to tokens are updated we can use create table as database syntax whenever we have to update the high volume of record where cetas configuration information is stored as i said the cetas configuration are automatically get defaulted in one of the table called as a c repos table it contains information about cetas if you want to fetch the cetas information you can run this query query select table name match dynamic analysis indicator strip cetas delete ratio complete strip ratio auto merge cetas ratio strip cetas delete upper limit from c repos you can define the type indicator as one and the table name like what are the table name for which we have configured the match and merge for example cbo party so it will give us some result like dynamic and uh, match dynamic analysis indicator 0 strip cetas delete ratio 10 complete strip ratio 60 auto cetas ratio minus 1 strip cetas delete upper limit 40000 so what are these parameters and how can we tune that we are going to see in today's session so let's discuss little more so we have seen in previous query there are parameter which affect the tokenization performance and those parameters are nothing but the complete strip ratio strip cetas delete ratio strip cetas delete upper limit let me go back to a database and we'll show this table so if you execute this query i just copied from that ppt you can see this is the table i selected cbo party match dynamic analysis 0 strip cetas delete ratio 10 complete strip ratio 60 auto merge cetas ratio minus 1 strip cetas delete upper limit is 40000 so these default values are assigned you can change this by just executing the update update statement but before doing that let's go ahead and discuss more about this attributes complete strip ratio strip cetas delete ratio and strip cetas delete upper limit the very first attribute that is complete strip ratio this is the a threshold ratio means the limiting value above which a tokenization process will occur complete strip ratio the values ranges from 0 to 100 and this is in percentage it represent the percentage of 0 or 100 as the number of dirty records that is dirty indicator 1 versus the total record count suppose we have the 10 millions record in the base subject table out of the 100 or 10 million record suppose we got 500k as a new update or new inserts 
it is the, the find that key might include the existing update or new insert so it is not necessarily uh, we have to generate the tokens for everything unless it is really updating the column which is contributing to tokenization then and then only we need to generate a token so in such case we have to get the total count and we also get the record which are eligible for the token generation and this complete uh, completes this two values defines the complete strip ratio if this threshold is not reached then the partial tokenization will occur so suppose this this percentage is suppose 20 percent and during the incremental load we got such a ratio like 10 percent then only 10 percent record will be eligible for the token generation as in that we have the 20 as a token gen uh, to 20 as a complete strip ratio and if you got the higher volume that is 30 percent then all records will be tokenized so this is one of the factor which decide whether you have to generate tokens for all or you have to generate tokens for the few set of data so this is one of the factor if uh, so this is the statement it says if this threshold is not reached then the partial tokenization will occur unless strip ratio has not been reached in which case tokenization does not run so these are the things will happen strip sita stillit ratio this is another factor another attribute which decide the performance of tokenization the threshold ratio above which strip table will be regenerated dropped and recreated so we know that the strip table is updated or we can drop and recreate these are the two options we have so how can we decide with this attribute like strip sitters delete ratio option we can decide whether we have to use the approach to update or we have to use the approach of recreation it is the ratio of number of delta records to update existing strip table versus total current strip record count suppose the strip table contains 1 million record and we got update like suppose 500 k that is almost 50 percent and if we decide strip sitters delete ratio 60 percent so 50 percent is less than 60 percent then what will happen so that is mentioned in this slide below the create table as that is sitters which generates all records with the new changes already part of the data that is will happen if the sitters is involved above this threshold I means suppose 60 is a value if it's above this 60 percent if you got the volume which are going to change the record then strip table is regenerated okay it means it will drop and recreate below this ratio suppose we got 50 percent record to be going to update then updates will happen in the strip table rather than recreation so this value important so we just saw in previous slide st strip sitas delete ratio so it is a ratio it is a percentage however strip sitas delete upper limit it is the actual count which will give suppose if you decide like 40,000 is a count which we are getting for updating the strip table if you get the less than 40,000 only update will happen if you use if you are getting more than 40,000 then whole recreation will happen so that is the explanation is mentioned the threshold limit based on the actual number of delta records for the strip table rather than percentage of total it will cause the strip table to recreate it rather than update it if this limit is exceeded below this limit individual delta updates will occur which is the normal thing how to make changes for sitas now if you want to make changes what you have to do you have to go to just database and write a update statement for example update suppose I want to increase this limit 
right now it is 40,000 just write this and mention like suppose you want to increase to 500k normally um, this is very common thing if you have the high volume um, if you are getting like around 200k 300k like 500k is, the, uh, is a good amount for you can set and you can tune that property also so you have to just mention this like this update table c repos table set where you can use like condition or you can use the equal to because it's exact table name and you can just update it one record is updated let me comment this change committed and you can run again and you'll see the value is updated similarly you can change the values for complete strip ratio or you can change the sitas release ratio also you can tune this property you can execute the job recheck the performance and similarly you can change the properties for the other attributes this is very simple very easy and you can monitor the status of a job so sita that is create table as is very important factor while checking and while tuning the tokenization process we have a couple of other things which will help us to tune the tokenization process which we will see in upcoming session so keep watching this space and have a good time bye bye